How do viral infections like the recent novel coronavirus spread? Do you remember the movie Contagion, based on a book written by surgeon physician Dr. Robin Cook? As civilizations spread and expand, bats get displaced and fly out. A bat infected with the virus then eats a banana and then it flies to a piggery where it drops a banana piece. Somewhere in the world, the wrong bat met up with the wrong pig. A pig eats the banana piece. Some of the pigs then get bought and sent to a restaurant. The pig is then handled by a chef in a casino restaurant in Hong Kong. In the clip, he had his bare hands touch the inside of the pig's mouth when putting spices. The chef then wipes his hands on his bloodied apron and shakes the hands of Gwyneth Paltrow, who the following day develops cough, flies back to her family in U.S. and spreads the virus to her kid, who eventually died the same day she did. Where do coronaviruses come from? Coronaviruses are common in many different species of animals, including camels and bats. Several speculations about the 2019 novel coronavirus exist, including that it was spread via bat soup with possible intermediary host or possibly snakes. Bats are sources of high viral diversity and high-profile zoonotic viruses worldwide. Although bats apparently don't die from the disease, some viruses from bats severely affect other animals and humans. Examples include Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, or SARS, Highly Lethal Rabies Virus, Fast Spreading and Fatal, Ebola Virus, Marburg Viruses, Nipah, and Hendroviruses. How does the virus spread? This virus probably originally emerged from an animal source but now is spreading from person to person. It is important to note that person-to-person -person spread can happen on a continuum. Some viruses are highly contagious like measles, while other viruses are less so. It is not yet clear how easily 2019 novel coronavirus spreads from person to person. Though, like MERS and SARS, it is thought to have happened mainly via respiratory droplets produced when an infected person coughs or sneezes, similarly to how influenza and other respiratory pathogens spread. Spread of MERS and SARS between people has generally occurred between close contacts. What is the source of 2019 novel coronavirus? Public health officials and partners are working hard to identify the source. Coronaviruses are a large family of viruses, some causing illness in people and others that circulate among animals, including camels, cats, and bats. Early on, many of the patients in the outbreak in Wuhan, China reportedly had some link to a large seafood and animal market, suggesting the virus likely emerged from an animal source. Analysis of the genetic tree of this virus is ongoing to know the specific source of the virus. One of the most important things about this new disease is to not panic. We need to put things in perspective. Influenza is still so far deadlier than this new disease. According to the Center for Disease Control, influenza has been causing between 12,000 to 61,000 deaths in the U.S. annually since 2010. To quote Stephen King, panic is highly contagious, especially in situations when nothing is known and everything is in flux. We need to stay calm, be aware, and practice good hygiene and hand-washing practices. As Dr. Erin Meir said in Contagion, stop touching your face, Dave. Thank you for listening. Be safe and be healthier.